Hi, this is Mr. Weisfeld. We're doing tips for working with Movie Maker. Let me just talk a little bit real quick about Paint, another program on the computer, but Paint especially interesting because uh, we have touchscreen computers. So let's, um, let's say I want to insert a hand drawing or, or some other picture right here into my video. Remember that if I insert a split in my video, edit, split, I have now created two parts of my video uh, and I have a spot in between where I can put something new. So if I go down to the start menu, start, type, uh, well there's paint right there. Click paint. Uh, it'll show you this window. Alright, so here's your window right here. The cool thing is, of course, I'm drawing with my finger here, which uh, is very natural. and. Uh, a lot of people, uh, when they don't want to do work in my class, they come in and maybe do a brush here. Let's say I want to do some airbrush. Let's say I want to pick another color. Uh, anyway, you get the picture. Uh, some people uh, the other day were saying, uh, Mr. Weisenfeld, I really want to insert a free body diagram. Uh, well, nobody was saying that actually, but you get the point. You, there's some creativity here. Uh, what I'm doing is control N to create a new uh, picture and then I'm not saving what I've got. So if you want to just draw something, you can pick a cool pen, draw a free body diagram with arrows, and then of course if you want to put text in, you can just click to say F N equals the normal force. So let me, show, let me show you the trick though. File, if you save this as a PNG file, maybe put it in your Weisenfeld folder and this is like a free body diagram. Save that. Then if you go over to Movie Maker, you can uh, go to the Home tab and click Add Videos and Photos. Of course, this could be a photo from your phone or something, anything, but if it's a free body diagram, I can click it and add it in here and uh, then I can drag it wherever I want it in my video. So just another neat way of, uh, so let's see how this looks. So we're watching a, watching a sports science video. But let's, let's say you want to cut to when somebody gets hit by somebody else uh, in a video, they're putting a force on it from one body to another. Boom. So hopefully uh, that's a little bit of a cool tip. Uh, there's no end to the amount of uh, stuff that you can create in paint. It's quite a versatile program. One thing that I think people like to do is maybe put uh, a black separator page in between. Uh, two scenes in your movie. So this is just a black screen. If I save that, uh, then I can put that into my video here, let's say. So insert, again, the steps are insert a file, browse to the file, and then you've got, uh, you've got a black screen. So uh, with no sound, uh, ready for you to put captions or whatever that you want on it. So here is a black screen free for captions. Okay, I hope that was uh, helpful. A uh, little tip or a couple of tips for uh, working with Movie Maker and working with Paint.